I did it again. I bought some more Lego. What can I say? Actually, I didn't even really buy any of this. It was all free. Insane, right? Clone packs, Lego sets, everything. It's not too many things. But I got them all for free with VIP points. So let's get into this Lego Hard Day. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below. But I would never have bought all this stuff if I didn't get it for free. Due to the fact that the Veritor project is getting more expensive and I keep going in and in more and more into this project and it's just insane. And most of this stuff I bought like two months ago before I really started running into deep financial troubles with the venture because I really want to get this thing done. I'm not in debt or anything it's like that. It's just like, it's getting really expensive and I've spent so much money on it so far. I've probably spent like over a thousand on it, honestly. And uh, it's not good, not good at all. So let's get into this Lego haul without further ado. All right, our first package came today from lego.com. We have one two and three clone packs i already did build this one so it's empty and then also a soko tunnel brickhead a lot of you guys think i'm coming back which i am i really am coming back but it was during school i had to spring on it and i only spent five dollars for all of this five because i had fifty dollars in vip points and i'm just like you know what i'm gonna regret this but i just bought five of them i was originally gonna buy a hot one and then two of these but it just didn't work out like that um, so it is what it is, but I bought this Soko Bricked Head, I would have waited, but I bought it because I'm doing a new sponsorship with this amazing guy, he's sending me some amazing custom products, and I thought it would be cool to have this Soko Tunnel Brick Head with the sponsored product, so I thought that'd be kind of cool, but basically, these, the three packs I bought, I love them, uh, I think they're great, I personally enjoy them, there'll be a video on them pretty soon though, or maybe it's already up by now, if it's out, I'll link them in the info card above, but that's my first part of the haul. Our next set is this set right here, the Mandalorian Starfire. Now, this was not planned by me. So basically, I had a really bad doctor's appointment, and I heard some really bad news about my current medical condition, which isn't great. It, it's, it's honestly, at this point, it's not good. And my mom really felt bad for me because of all I'm going through right now. And she just surprised me one day with this, this amazing thing. And I was just shocked because I did not expect to get this. And like, oh my goodness. So it looks great now. I have it on display on my shelves over here, which looks great. I'm so glad I have that set. It is honestly beautiful. And I really do have to give, have to give a big shout out to my mom. Honestly, like, this was unexpected. She just had it in the basement and she just gave it to me. So, yeah. Thank you again. Thumbs up. Now, for the next part of this haul, we have some Marvel CMF figures because, well, they're retiring. And I didn't know that. So I kind of went nuts. I bought a bunch of packs. Here's one of the ones I got. I got a Loki. Another Loki. Another Loki. I'm so angry at this point. I'm just I'm like, I had so many of these and I'm just like, why? Why all Lokis? And I just can't believe how gypped I got because I didn't know that these were retiring. And people said base plates were retiring, but nope, they're still around, but not the CMF made figures, which boy really suck. And um, yeah, this is basically all I got from the first batch of figures I did buy. I bought five of these and I got three Lokis. I got really screwed over on that one. But then my mom actually had one figure in the basement that she was saving for uh, Christmas, but she just forgot to put it in the stocking. So we had one Agent Carter made figure. So that's pretty pog, honestly. So we got a good amount of figures from the Marvel CMF. We got four different versions. Plus this one I bought a long time ago, but overall, really disappointing. I wish I could have gotten a CMF box. I guess I'll just have to buy one online eventually. I don't know, but I'm very disappointed. I missed out on the CMS because I didn't know they were retiring. So feels bad, guys. Feels bad. I could have bought more, but I know I knew I couldn't go into any debt because of the Verger project. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's not buy that many. Let's buy five of them. You know, let's try to keep it maintained to a small controlled amount. Final official Lego set. This set right here. I got this from a friend. A friend just gave it to me. And I'm like, wow. It was just amazing. Cause I'm like. I wasn't expecting to get anything from this guy, but he just gave it to, uh, gave it to me out uh, of just pure niceness. And someone gave me this Imperial Armored Marauder. This set is honestly amazing. And I would like to thank my friend, again, whose name will grow nameless. But uh, thank you, honestly. 31 bucks for this? I mean, that's how much you told me you paid for it. Uh, because, you know, 20% off clearance, which was kind of nice. But still, I'm glad I got this set. Now I almost have all of the summer sets, which is kind of insane to me to think about because... Literally, I wait for sales for a lot of sets, but I've just managed to somehow get all of this almost, almost all of the summer sets before they were on clearance. Like, I got the Bad Batch show for basically free from Spirit Hill. I got this for free. I got the, uh, 
what you call it, Mandalorian uh, gauntlet. Oh my god, thank William. That for free, I got this as a Christmas gift. I'm just like, I almost have the entire summer wave, and it's not even that, it hasn't even been out that long yet, which is just kind of insane to me. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for the Lego haul. Besides this one last order I placed on BrickLink that I placed from Tyler Lifebrick Studios. You are the G, my man. He paid, he got me this order really quick. There wasn't really any uh, discount for me because, you know, like I'm not a sponsorship or anything with him, but he had, he did have a part steal for 25% off and I looked at the prices on BrickLink and he had the cheapest prices for the main part I needed, which was the 1x6 brick. So basically I got a bunch of 1x6 bricks, tons of parts that I can use on the furniture and you'll be seeing in the coming updates. All right, that is all for this like, whole day. I can't believe I got most of this stuff for free besides like a few parts from the Verger and then um, $5 on a brick head. I mean, honestly, like most of this stuff is free. So pretty happy about that. I hope all you did enjoy this Lego haul. If you did, make sure to smash that like and subscribe down below. And do remember, I am still kind of broke for the Verger. So if you can leave any donations, much would be appreciated. But for now, I'm going to say farewell. Oh.